Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. It is time for another fire roll tutorial. People are still struggling with the fire roll technique. The three top mistakes that I see people making are they are not mastering the cotton and ashes fire roll first before they go to other fibers and fillers. You're gonna have to get good at this. You're gonna have to get to where you can do every single time you get an ignition. Doesn't matter if you got a lot of ashes in there, little ashes in there, if it's moist outside, if it's windy, if it's cold, you need to master, master the cotton and ashes fire roll before you try any other fibers and fillers. The second biggest mistake that I see people making is, I've got three or four great tutorials in my fire roll playlist and people refuse to go to that playlist and look at those tutorials and the other hundred examples of me making a fire roll. And that's what a lot of people need most. And I would say the third biggest mistake is people tell me how they roll and roll and roll and the cotton just disintegrates. The harder that you press down on a fire roll, the quicker the ignition will come. But if you don't press down hard enough, you're never gonna get the ignition. And that abrasive uh, ash in there is just gonna break down the, the uh, cotton and make it disintegrate. So let me go ahead and harvest these ashes. This is some tulip poplar that I burnt yesterday, some pine needles and some punk wood. You don't have to sift your ashes, but I just like to do it. And here's a bunch of char that is left over. It will fire roll, but it's not as good as wood ash. All right, you want 100% cotton cotton balls. Sometimes it can be aggravating about finding the end. You're gonna, you can see where it's rolled up. That's one side and that's one side. So you wanna just pick at the outside until you discover the end and then open it up. You only need six inches of cotton and put a quarter teaspoon of ashes. I'm gonna give you a visual of what I'm calling a quarter teaspoon of ashes. That's all you need. And then some ashes on the outside of the roll too. Roll it up as tight as you can with your fingers. Give it some forward rolls with your hand to further tighten it up. Then you'll want to give it some forward rolls with the board also. Just three, four. Then I like to give it 10 rolls in this direction, turn it 180 degrees and give it 10 more rolls. And if you don't see smoke, go back and roll it some more. Now, I told you what three of the most common mistakes are. Let me show you something that people think are mistakes, but it doesn't matter because the fire roll is so forgiving. Sort of doesn't really matter how much ash you put on the inside. 
You can put a, just a tiny little bit or you can just have it overflowing and it'll still ignite. But the optimal amount is a quarter teaspoon. So let's go ahead and put too much in there. And that is three times more ash than you would need. Probably won't be able to get all that to stay inside the cotton. That little bit right there will fire roll. Even that little bit will fire roll. Like an eighth of a teaspoon. So as you see, the fire roll is very forgiving as far as the amount of ash that you put inside. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.